Hello friend, it's Mark out of the Back 40. And this video is just gonna be a real quick review of the windows that we put in the last deer blind that we built. These windows we purchased and the brand is the Original Deer Blind Window Company. All of the blind windows that I have used up until this blind that we just built um, I have made the windows. Uh, the, actually, the, back 25 years ago when I was a, you know, pretty broke and raising kids, uh, the windows I used were air. There was no window. It was just an opening and the <laughs> wind was whipping in. But I was young and dumb, right? And then um, since that time, um, about five years after that blind, we had some leftover Lexan in the company that I worked at. Which Lexan is like plexiglass. It's just see-through plastic. And uh, so you can cut that stuff with... A circular saw so I cut that and then you could you can drill through it too so I drilled it put a couple hinges on it slapped it up tons and tons of air leaks around it but at least it kind of stopped well maybe 75% of the wind and then um, about five years ago I kind of did a whole reset on the property and maybe I'll talk about that sometime if you're interested in that let me know but in one of the big strategies was to contain my scent inside a blind and part of that meant getting really serious about window seals. So that's why I bought a couple of redneck blinds and I have reviewed those before. So go to my uh, channel and if you want to see information on that, it's there. But I also had to make a couple of windows for the blinds that I had built before. So I made those in my uh, little wood shop that I've got. And I did a video on, on that too. So I'll put a link below on that if you want to see those windows. But today we're talking about the ones that we purchased. So I really just felt like I didn't want to build anything. I just got lazy and I was completely fine with buying windows. I think these windows were about $60 a piece and we ended up putting four of them in here. And so the name of the company is the Original Deer Blind Window Company. And they, um, I think are out of Texas. Um, the windows are actually really, really nice. I like them a lot. They're aluminum framed. They have a few different styles that I think you can install them from the outside in or the inside out. We bought the one that is from the outside in because it seemed like it was an easier installation. And then it's got drain holes in it for rain and that kind of stuff. But, and then they also have um, a felt lining around the inside of both the, the window itself and the frame. They both have felt lining around there. So one of the things I like about sealing them, other than it keeps your scent, is bugs. Like in the summertime, I just can't stand the bugs that get in here. And then, uh, you know, in September you come and clean the blinds out and there's bugs and all kinds of crap all over in here. The, there was, there's no bugs in here. There's nothing that gets in here. So this seal works really, really well. And then I'll try to get a shot of the outside of it maybe. Let's see if you can. So we used, this is kind of goofy, isn't it? We use steel barn siding, and then this right here is the window. So there's a there's a lip up there, and it's all framed, and you put it in, and a couple screws, zip, zip, and then, uh, you know, snap the window in it. It really works really well. So is this helping at all? I don't even know if this is helping you. But you smart guys who know about windows, you probably... You probably could pick something up from that, I hope. And then you can see the different channels here um, that it has. So that water gets in, if you know, um, snow or water or anything gets in, there's little drain holes that boom, it goes down, it goes out, and it doesn't come in and get the rot the wood. So that's kind of why, that's another reason I went with the ones that go from the outside in. It seemed like they, in the long run, would have less opportunity to rot the wood, the framing around here, because water won't sit on here in any way. Then, well, I've used them for a year, so it's not like they're brand new to me. They've been great. I really like these windows. Um, they're clear, they're uh, easy to operate. There's just two little tabs. You just take this little tab down here and this little tab down here. And then there are magnets right here. This is a magnet and this magnet you just grab it, flip it up, and up here is the little piece of metal that it goes to. So there you go. So the other thing that I guess I would want to point out here is, I didn't build this blind myself. I, I, I had a, 
I had a somebody who's good at construction. He's a construction worker. He's a builder. What am I saying? He's a builder. He built this blind for me. I don't have the skills to do this. But one of the things that ran into was when he installed the, you know, you see the two by four construction in here. When he installed these windows, he had it framed with a regular two by four. And then we installed the windows and all of a sudden you go to flip it up and tunk, 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 tunk. It was hitting on the, it was hitting on the two by four. It could go all the way up. So you can see here, he notched out all of these, uh, whatever they're called, studs or whatever. So he had to notch these out all the way around the blind, which, you know, he did, it's not a big deal. But now the window, when it flips up, flips up completely flush. So one of the things that I really liked about this window, and I, I shot a, a, a nice little buck out of here. It was just a blast. I had a blast doing that hunt. But um, it was the, uh, I didn't even think about it. When the deer was there and I decided I was gonna shoot it, I, I just, it was so easy to undo these two clips, grab it, flip it up, and then completely forget about it because the magnets grab it. There's no string, there's no clip, there's nothing up there. The magnets just grabbed it, and I just focused on the hunt, and it was just a blast. So I really like these windows. We installed them 38 inches from the floor to here. 38 inches kind of seems to be what we like to use. Our chairs are, they're like um, adjustable chairs. So I, I have the seat around 16 inches high. My wife and daughter have to adjust it up to about 18 inches high, but, but that is, seems to be the height that works the best for us. So try these windows. If you've got the funds to do it, I would suggest these windows. I really like them. I'm never sure how much information to put in a video like this. So if you have questions, I probably missed something. I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, if you need me to measure something, I'll rip back out here some night after work and I'll measure something up if you have, if you're kind of curious or I'll look at their website or whatever you want. Just let me know and, and uh, you know, I'll help you out here. Um, but I think it's best if you consider doing this because they're great windows. You won't regret it. I, d I don't think there's a chance that you would regret doing this. Um, it's not like they're super expensive, but they are really convenient and really nice. And when you're using them, they're great. When you wash them, they're easy to wash. There's no big lip over here to hold a bunch of water in. And then you wash it and then you close it and then all the water drips down. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty clean. It's pretty good. I, I like them.